guys, uh, do you see that, uh, slight, uh, stigmata there forming in this young individual? Okay, well, we've had, uh, <laughs> it's always there, sometimes darker. Right now, it's a little bit darker. That, uh, circle there but is a well it hurts and uh we've had a number of of healings with it uh where uh okay but what i'm trying to tell you all <laughs> is is concerning uh this this certain uh prophetic uh uh theory that uh okay yeah well as I have said, you know, I, I, in this particular theory with these particular uh, uh, individuals, all of this was, was already done with the musical movement in the Midwest, probably the greatest artist in history, uh, and, and, and all of that, and all of that, and, okay, so it looks like they're not, they're not, uh, well, I'm trying to tell you. Uh, all of that that I just showed to here is more the first and second horsemen, and that's all been uh, done with, done away with, with uh, the time of the virus and uh, yeah, the violence and everything. Okay, but what I'm trying to tell you is this is more. We're more in the latter days of the apocalypse now. Is this particular theory uh, where? Uh, okay, uh, I'm trying to tell you. More lungs of where we are is 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 this. We're more headed over towards the third, fourth, third and fourth horsemen and the uh, uh, Antichrist. You know where where we believe. Well, it looks like we're more around, according to huh, Johnny Belfell. He's saying it's more so along the line times of the disastrous abomination having been put up and. Uh, Time for the uh, people of God to uh, take action, and uh, <laughs> okay, and of course uh, that's all. Uh, so the thing is here, folks, is that only if this thing only goes on this much longer, where it's more the third and fourth horsemen are hashing it out, while more so while we're in these stages, in these last, the second half of Daniel chapter eleven, in this showdown with the greatest artist in history from the Midwest. Uh, it's more so that this is where you're going to start seeing some more famine and uh, sort of uh, plagues with uh, animals and, and, and uh, sure, uh, beasts. And, 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 and if there's enough famine in these next two or so years, uh, it'll be where it, it, it'll, it'll get pretty gross with the, uh, well, I'm not sure. Particularly, what I'm saying is it doesn't matter how much famine or uh, plagues from from creatures there are, it's so long as God, the Father in Heaven, sees that all of this has been uh, fulfilled. <clears throat> I'm trying to tell you what, what you can see is it, if the interpretation is correct that Certain things that have been done are, in fact, the uh, disastrous abomination here. Then, uh, according to this theory, that would have been uh, almost a year ago. So, <clears throat> so that would. And the thing is, here at the end, where it says uh, the secret is here, uh, after the disastrous abomination is erected, at one thousand two hundred. And 90 days until, uh, until, so that means it's 1,290 days from, uh, here, from here to, uh, all the way to here. So that's about what, three and a half years. So it looks like, oh, maybe, man, what, what the prediction is saying is, is, uh, oh, that is good result in a sort of uh, 
return of Jesus to take the throne on earth uh, in, a, in possibly two, two and a half years here. And this is really wonderful. This is really exciting. So, so people of God should. <clears throat> well, one, you know, this is all uh, up for debate whether God is going to see this particular uh, interpretation with these artists and all of this business in the Midwest to, in fact, fulfill it. But what, what do the people of God need to keep focusing on? As we all know, it's the words of Jesus that we need to uh, uh, be focusing on. What he, he, you know, uh, where we need to be reading the Bible and uh, trying to do uh, primarily, as, as people should know, uh, y your go-to thing to remember uh the teachings of Jesus is, uh, you know, you start here. Okay, what's this say? Uh, oh, wait. No, I'm trying to get to this. Uh, sure. What's Where are you going to find the main thing that Jesus is saying? Happy are you, the poor in spirit. There's the, the, the AP attitude, sure. Happy the gentle. So we need to be all these things. The people of God, we need to mostly be focusing on being poor in spirit, gentle, mournful. We need to mourn all the lives being taken and uh, all the terrible things. We should mourn and uh, hunger and thirst for what is right. We should be merciful, pure in heart should be peacemakers and uh, if we are persecuted for being these things we should rejoice and be glad for huh, this is how they treated the prophets before us okay so that's the main thing main thing is we need to make sure that we are uh, these things here poor in spirit that means uh, you know or we you got to keep your flavor and hunger and thirst for what's right. Uh, yeah, so this is just some words that if in the time of the apocalypse, what's your go-to? If you slip out of any of these things, if you start getting proud, or if you start uh, being aggressive or uh, not mourning, not mourning those who should be mourned, or uh, not actually, uh, if you're the opposite of these, means you're falling out of your yoke with Jesus. And you just got to do whatever prayer and work it takes in yourself to get back to these things which are humble. Jesus is the most humble. Uh, the internet and pursue, pursuit of one's own uh, ambitions and, and accomplishments are not uh, humble. It is not accomplishment or achievement or status that matters at all. It's what's on the inside that matters. Uh, how is your fruit? Do you have good fruit? Uh, are you doing the things that Jesus said to do? Uh, such as these here, uh, of course, uh, being poor in spirit, not proud, gentle, not aggressive, all these things, merciful, uh, mournful, uh, pure in heart, right? The uh, hungering and thirst for what's right. Sure, this is this is the main thing here. It's about love. What it mainly is, not so much about obeying a, a series of rules or strand of words, as it is about how much love do you have? What do you do for people? How are you living? Are you trying to be a peacemaker and a, uh, a presence of love? This is all there is. And it takes, and of course, uh, hungry and thirst for what's right. What's right for Jesus to be king here. Which, according to this uh, particular theory, could be in a couple of years here. So, very exciting stuff. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, sure. So, uh, I bless you all. And, uh, uh, May Jesus have mercy on these generations. Amen.